I want to start with a quote. Coach knows that when the game gets tight, a light switch goes off in my head. He knows I won't hesitate to pass the ball to someone else to hit the game winning shot. He knows that I just want to win. That quote's from Brandon Roy. I stand in front, of you, in front of you today to talk about one of the best players in the NBA that could have been. This man is Brandon Roy. I've been a Trailblazers fan ever since I've seen my first game of basketball at the professional level. And soon after, Brandon Roy stepped in the spotlight at Portland and it made it really easy to look up to him. And he's someone that I'll always look back on and admire for the rest of my life. First, I want to talk to you about how Brandon Roy impacted the NBA as a player. And then secondly, I want to talk to you about how he impacted the community of Portland and completely changed around the whole franchise of the Trailblazers from zero to hero. First, let me start off by telling you a little bit more about Brandon Roy. He was born and raised in Seattle. He went to Garfield High School, which is located in the central, di central division of Seattle, and uh, he played basketball there, <clears throat> did great through his senior year, and he got recruited to UW, where he became a hometown hero, and later took them to the playoffs into the Sweet 16. So it was only destiny that Brandon Roy made his way to Portland. He was drafted in 2006 by the Minnesota Timberwolves, six overall, and was immediately traded to Portland for draft rights. From day one, he wowed viewers with spectacles and again and again did what we thought we knew to be undoable. He took a team on the edge of implosion and gave their fan base something to look forward to. Despite losing, in six games to Houston in 2009, Roy put on a, sh a spectacular show all by himself. The best example of this is in the fourth quarter with .8 seconds left to go, down by two, Brennan Roy gets an inbounds pass, rises up, hits a 30-foot jump shot from beyond the arc and to win the game. The crowd goes wild, his team tackles him, mobbing him and whatnot, and Mark Albert gives his um, famous yes at the end of the game. A little bit later in Brandon's career, he signed a five-year, $82 million deal that would you know, put him at the all-star level as far as making money goes in the NBA. He, right after signing this deal, he had a major injury in his knee. He tore his meniscus and this took him out of the game. Um, affected every aspect of his game. He was basically, his career like went down the tubes afterwards and he became nothing more than a bench player to the Blazers but there was still little hope in his career. In the 2010 playoffs, he took the floor against the Phoenix Suns after eight, day, eight days after he had his surgery on his knee. And he did this um, the day of the game. He got the okay from his coach. It was said that he was gonna miss the whole playoff series. So this was a big game for him. Uh, he came out on the court, didn't really do a whole lot, only scored about 10 points in the game, a couple boards and assists here and there. But it wasn't a stat line that was that was made the game huge. When he stepped onto that hardwood floor, the whole arena in Portland went nuts, absolutely wild, because they they had a view of their their star player, their man, back on the court and had a chance to be playing again. In the 2010 playoffs, I'm sorry, with Roy's career slowly going down the tubes, you know, didn't really have much to show. He gave it one more push in the last year in the playoffs for the soon to be champion Dallas Mavericks. He um, played in the game a little bit here and there, didn't really do a whole lot, shot a really bad percentage the whole game, and in the fourth quarter, the Mavericks were up by 23, and they came out, the Blazers came out on the floor and made a huge comeback, led by Brandon Roy. He exploded for 18 points in the fourth quarter. Now, many of you, have, many of you may have seen the movie Space Jam, starring Michael Jordan. Well, just like Michael, Brandon Roy gained his powers back, gained his talents back for one night, and he just took off and made, made a show for himself, all by himself. And he could not miss in the whole fourth quarter. He was just on fire all the time, and we, once again, we've seen the Brandon Roy that we love and we know. The best, game, the best shot of the game came from a shot with 106 left in the fourth quarter. Roy pulls up for a three-point shot and gets fouled by Sean Marion and the basket goes in and then he converts his, um, his foul and puts the Mavericks and the Blazers 82 apiece to tie the game. Now the Blazers go on to win this game and put, it ties the series at 2-2. Two and two. This game may very well go down as one of the best comebacks in NBA history and this is all because of our man Brett and Roy. So now that you know a little bit more about Roy and what he did 
as an NBA player, I can tell you a little bit more about how he affected the community of Portland and changed the franchise of the Blazers. Brennan Roy was more than just a player. He was more than just a franchise player. He made all of us believe in the impossible. He did even more than that. He made us see him as a man. He made us see the true Brennan Roy. Brennan Roy the man is far greater than Brennan Roy the player could ever be. He made himself a part of Portland the first time his shot glazed, grazed the back of the net at the Rose Garden Arena. Everyone watching knew they were watching some, someone special. Not something, but someone. A special player can turn the heads of a fan, attract more people to the games, or even challenge the league's best. But a special person, however, can not only affect what's going on in the court, but what's going on in the community. People around the league did not understand the kind of guy that Brandon Roy was. He was a once-in-a-generation kind of guy. With buzzer beater, game winners, fourth quarter heroics, and near peerless skill set, Brandon Roy has spent the past five years stopping Trailblazers fans' hearts. So what if he's not going to be the next Michael Jordan? Roy had style, he had class, he had a never surrender, never give up attitude. And this shows throughout his whole career. Brennan Roy always slowed down the game and made it his own. He was never hurried, never rushed, he never saw that in his game because he always was in control of what was going on. Roy took hold of this team and this town and changed the culture and the way that we see the Blazers franchise. Roy's impact on the organization goes far beyond three All-Star games and Rookie of the Year honors. Because of his, um, his connection with the fan base is not simply because of his career averages, 19 points a game, 4.7 assists, and 4.3 rebounds. Roy was the figurehead that ushered Portland through the, as you may have, you all, as many of you have heard of the Jailblazers era. He put smiles on the faces of fans where they once roamed, or put smiles on the faces of fans where frowns once roamed. He made fans cheer again where they're, once they were embarrassed to. He gave young kids in the community someone to look up to. He was someone on the right side of the tracks with, a, with, with an upside for change, and change is exactly what he gave the city of Portland and the Trailblazers organization. So I hope you, know, hope you now know that you have a better understanding of Brandon Roy and who he is and the impact that he left on me and every Trailblazers fan out there. First we talked about the impact that he had on the NBA as a player and how he took charge to lead the Blazers through five years of much needed success. Then I talked to you about how he not only made an impact on the team and their success, but how he changed the basketball community. So let's take a some time to appreciate the loss of someone truly special to me and those who watched him. Here's to you, B-Roy. The Blazers should be hanging your jersey from the rafters soon enough, and I don't know about you, but I can't wait to cheer him on one last time as they raise it.